Assalamu alaikum students how are you hoping that you will be fine so today in our first science class we will read unit number 1 chapter number 1 living and non living things before starting you have to mention the date and day on the top of the page that is page number 1 so let's do this thing first write the names of what you see in the coaches of the train there's a man let's write with me a girl a rat a ball there are different things in these coaches a cat and a kite we see many things around us these things can be divided into two groups living and non living living things people animals and plants are living things okay students apart from our family there are many more things that we should know about this world the world where we live is beautiful and it has various kinds of things isn't it we have different kinds of plants different kinds of animals and birds around us this makes the world wonderful place some of the things around us are called living things and some are called non living things the things which are living have life in them and why do we call them living things just because of these reasons we will read and discuss them one by one So number 1 is living things eat food. We know that all human beings eat food. And all the animals also eat food. Do you know that plants also eat food? And their food is air, water and sunlight. So all the living things eat food. All those things which grow are called living things for example a baby grows into a boy or a baby may also grow into a girl and a boy then grows into a man and the girl then grows into a woman so all living things grow let me give you another example a chick hatches from an egg and secondly the chick grows into a hen or it may grow into a cock so all living things grow seeds also grow into plants okay so living things can move from one place to another all living things move a car can also move but it cannot move by itself so all those things which move themselves are called living things now come to page number 2 living things breathe we know that all of us breathe all of the living things breathe through their nose fish which live in water also breathe and they breathe through their gills living things have young ones it means they can reproduce they can produce their babies living things feel just like you see in the picture the cat is happy so living things can feel plants are also living things a small plant is born from a seed and grows up to become a big plant a seed grows into a seedling a seedling then becomes a becomes an adult plant so what do you mean by this it means that when you sow a seed in the soil after watering it it becomes a seedling it means a baby plant comes out of it after some days after having its food like air water and sunlight 
plants also need food and air to grow plants do not move from one place to another but they move their parts the sunflower turns its face towards the sun the leaves of the touch me not plant droop when touched so as we say that plants are living things so plants also need food to grow and i already told you that what is their food they need air water and sunlight to grow being living things plants move their parts they cannot move by themselves from one place to another but they can move their different parts for example the sunflower always faces towards the sun and there is a plant which is called touch me not it bends its leaves downwards whenever we touch them that's why we call it touch me not so being living things plants can move their different parts now come to another category of this topic which is non living things non living things cannot eat breathe or feel they cannot move or grow also they cannot have babies non living things are divided into two groups natural things and man made things natural things are found in nature these are not made by man mountains and clouds moon and stars water and stones these are all natural things man made things are not found in nature these are made by man table chair book a toy train these are all man made things so all the things other than living things which cannot feel which cannot breathe which cannot move by themselves which cannot grow are all called non living things basically there are two types of non living things natural things and man made things natural things are those which are made by nature which are made by allah almighty for example all the mountains and clouds the moons the stars the sun water wherever whether it is in the form of river or stream or sea or an ocean these are all made by nature or the stones so all the things which are not made by man which are created by allah are called natural things and all the things which are artificial which are made by man for example table chair the book the toy train you can see in your surroundings the bed you are sitting on or the walls the ceiling fan the tube light the table lamp etc etc are all the category of non living things and these are called man made things so as an exercise you can do the following things name two non living things you find at home and you have to do this yourself but i'm doing as an example for you at your home the tv around you the bed are non living things and non living things you find in your class are it may be a white board table etc you can write of your own okay living things can dash from one place to another we all know that living things can move from one place to another dash things cannot grow yes which things cannot grow living things or non living things yes you are right non living things cannot grow a toy is a dash thing a toy is a living thing or a non living thing as a toy cannot move by itself as a toy cannot grow as a toy cannot breathe so it is a non living thing so that's it for today thank you